The annual Global Peace Leadership Conference in Nairobi ended today with a resounding call for youth inclusion in peace planning and leadership. The conference that brought together delegates from Africa and around the world, including former Nigerian President Olesugun Obasanjo, Kenyan philanthropist Manu Chandaria, religious leaders and peace activists aims to develop strategies for global peace and security. The three-day Global Peace Leadership Conference in Nairobi took place at a critical time amid youth protests in the country demanding for inclusion and action on pressing socio-economic issues. Speakers at the conference emphasized the critical role that young people play in building and sustaining peace. Young people can no longer be passive observers in the processes of the nation building. Instead, they must become active participants. The conference also featured young leaders from conflict-affected regions who shared their experiences and proposed innovative solutions to peace building. And we want a change. At the youth, we don't want to sit here. We will look for what's a change for tomorrow, that we need to take an action today. Under the theme One Family Under God, the clergy call for love among all humanity, without which there would be no meaningful peace to spur development. And politicians should know this. It includes ensuring a minimum level of human well-being, avoiding misery and abject poverty that dehumanizes our people. If there's no love, there's no peace. At the closing ceremony, Kenyan philanthropist Manu Chandaria received the Global Peace Award for his extraordinary leadership and commitment to building peace and changing young lives by building schools in conflict-ridden regions in Kenya. Mariambo reporting for the Prime Edition.